Hi everyone, this is Miss Sutton. I am here to check in with all of the parents and guardians of students in the resource room. I want to update you all on an upcoming module that will be introduced into our classroom. So over the next few weeks, we will be implementing computational thinking and coding concepts into our regular curriculum. So computational skills are processes like recognizing patterns, following directions, and problem solving. And it's really important that our students um, are exposed to these new conceptual skills as new technologies are becoming more significant in the workplace and everyday life. So I want to go over a few questions that have been brought up in the past by parents. So first question, does this require previous knowledge or an understanding of high tech tools? And no, not always. We will be using different levels of technology. So for example, if we're learning about the number binary system or patterns, we could use different colored beads on a piece of string to represent those patterns. Um, we will have representation of all levels of technology. So the next question is, what if my student doesn't work well with these new tools? So our classroom follows a universal design for learning framework, which means that our students are provided with multiple means of representation, multiple means of action and expression, and multiple means of engagement during our lesson. So if you're concerned about your students' understanding of these concepts, no fear, we always have backup plans. Our last question is, how does this module relate to real world concepts? So our classroom will be a judgment free zone where students are allowed to and even encouraged to make mistakes because we learn from our mistakes the best. Uh, all of our activities will be using hands on tools or models that will simulate everyday objects that are used outside of the classroom for real world experience. So let me know if I missed a question or if you have any other comments or concerns, please reach out and thank you so much for your time.